Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to TJK Network. My name is Tyler Kasazak, and we welcome you to the first mainstream broadcast for Aquatic Spring Sports here, and also the first girls lacrosse broadcast on TJK Network. Anyways, let's get over uh, last season's stats right away. So the 2023 season, the team finished with a record of 7-12, and 12, which is a .368 win in percentage. And their record in the NJIGLL conference was 2-4, and four, .333 win in percentage. They finished 5th in the Freedom West division, and they lost in the first round to the, in the sectional playoffs. Today's matchup features... For the season opener and home opener for Paquanic is, of course, they'll be playing against the visiting Wayne Valley team. And they're starting the season 0-1, coming off a big 17-5 blowout loss to Montville. And we'll see what this Paquanic team can do this year, because... They had a pretty solid history. In 2021, they were uh, top of the conference. And then the year after, in the 2022 season, they went 0-13, which is a big, big down spiral of a season. And then last year, they got themselves a couple wins, 7-12. and Not particularly the best, but... At least they were able to get some wins, and then this year we'll see what it's like because there's a lot less seniors on this year's roster. There's only two, that being number seven, Olivia Cribs, and number 18, Teresa Iorio, if I'm pronouncing that name correct. Apologize. Also, another rule that's changed this year for girls lacrosse, compared to the boys, they own... Um, they only play two halves instead of four quarters, but this year they changed it to four quarters. So that's a little bit of a difference right there going into this season. But anyways, you hope you guys enjoy our first girls lacrosse broadcast here on the main TJK network station. Pretty cool day here in Pequonic, 47 degrees, and it is pretty cloudy out. Hopefully, we don't get any rain, but the weather is looking clear for the remainder of the day, so it looks like we are good. Also, <laughs> earlier today, uh, when the boys lacrosse team was practicing, at around 10.23 a.m., a 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck the tri-state area. You never, um, that's a, uh, something that you will never see in the tri-state area is a pretty decent earthquake hit in this town. What are the odds in that happening? So each quarter will be 12 minutes, and of course there'll be a 10 minute halftime intermission. So Pequonic will be in the, their home white jerseys, and Wayne Valley will be in their visiting, I'm going to say light blue and also you got some dark blue there, away jerseys.
So the opening face-off will be underway shortly. So, so far not one varsity team in the spring sports has won a game. Girls softball starting the season off 0-2. And, and the boys lacrosse team starting 0-1 with a loss to Mawa yesterday on the road. And also baseball also starting 0-1, but their game was cut short to five innings due to the rain. And they lost 2-0. So let's go over our starting goaltenders. So on the right side for Wayne Valley, it looks like number 70, number 70 Sloan Wolford will be in the net for Wayne Valley and for Paquanic. Will be Jake Mary Roby. And she's a sophomore. And she has no stats. She's number 47. Here we are coming into this opening face off here. Or I should say opening draw. I guess they. Do it different than the boys. Here we go, though. So, Paquanic with this one. That is Teresa Iro bringing that one in. Paquanic on it. Starting first on the rush here. Behind the net. Teresa back on it here. There you go, Paquanic back with it. And to the right side of the net. And now behind the net is Ruby Smith. And with a shot, and they score! McCormick right on the board. And that goal, I believe, will go to Ruby Smith. We'll take a look at that instant replay. Good start to the opening minutes of the first quarter here. And the sun just came out too, so now it's going to be a lot easier to see these numbers. And a battle after that draw. This one will go to Paquanic here. Teresa. Iorio bringing this one in, rushing through, and a shot will be saved by Wolford. Wolford will bring this one out here to City Kurz. And this ball will go out of bounds. Uh, right at the, as they were battling right on the edge of that line of the playing boundaries. And now, Wayne Valley bringing this one in. And Paquonk's defense did pick this one off. And now Paquonk rushing this one back in here. Good pass here, and a shot 
And they score! It is now 2 nothing for Quanic. Klonik just walked right through the defense there. She was able to recover that loose ball right there and still get it into the back of the net there. So McClonick with an early 2-0 lead. Only a couple minutes in this first quarter here. Klonk right back with it. Emily Zegler on it. Emily Zegler rushing in here. Behind the net. Cameron Corvo gives this one over with another shot. And the Panthers score once again and make it 3-0. And that goal was by Teresa Iorio. And it is now 3-0. And it looks like without a doubt here, it looks like Wayne Valley is going to take a early timeout here after giving them three consecutive goals in a row here. So McConnick looking to continue the scoring here with nine minutes to go in the first. They're already up 3 nothing. Here we are coming out of the timeout. Draw was won by Cam Corvo. And she'll pass this one over to Caitlin Zegler. And now that ball will become loose for a second, but it is recovered by Emily Zegler. Emily Zegler. Looks like she'll enter in, I believe that's offsides, if I read the rules right. Klonik bringing this one in. Ooh, that one was just saved by Wolford. She picked that loose ball up, but it is still Klonik's ball. Behind the net now. Clock now rushing in with another shot. And it's another goal. It is now 4 nothing.
The scoring continues. Quark, not able to win this draw, but Wayne Valley looking to try to get something going here. Currently with this one, Ainsley Phillips gives this one over to, I think that's behind the net, and that is Downs with it. And now Wilson. Back to Downs behind the net. Downs. With a shot. And now Wayne Valley gets on the board. It is now 4-1. to Klonik still leading by three. Clonk wins his draw again. Zegler bringing this one in here. Passed over. And a shot. And for Klonik. Extends their lead back to four. It's now five to one. I believe that was number 20, Caitlin Zegler with that goal. Six forty-nine to go in the first here. Quantic up, five one. Another win for Faquanic on the draw. Teresa bringing this one in here. It's hard to see these numbers. I believe that was actually Emily Zegler, excuse me. Behind the net now. And now to the side. Quank bringing this one in again with a shot that just went wide. And a shot. And that one is saved by... Wolford. And now Wayne Valley bringing this one in. Currently with this one. Alexandra Morgan. Wayne Valley brings this one behind the net. And up front with a shot, and that one goes over the net there. Now, 
Quank has it. Grace Fisher with it. I believe Grace Fisher entered off sides there. So ball back to Wayne Valley here, bringing this one in. Fistano. Fistano being pressured right there. She'll have to pass this one over to Morgan. Ball is loose right there, but it is recovered by Zacon. And this ball will go out of bounds. Now Pekong's back with it. Goaltender Jake Mary Roby in possession from a pass. And Jake Mary Roby plays this one over to center here. This is Emily Ziegler bringing this one in. And another shot, and this one is saved. And Summer Cerisi brings this one around the net, and she's able to pick up that ball there to get another opportunity. Summer Cerisi knocked over there. I believe that was. Wayne Valley with this one here. But it's turned right back over to Paquanic, and this ball will make its way to the net where S Sloan Wolford will have to pick this one up. Wayne Valley bringing this one in here. And I believe Sadie Kurz walked out of it on the line. Our play will resume. Wayne Valley trying to set up here. They are down 5-1 to one early in this game. Currently with this one, Amy F Ainsley Phillips. Now, Allison McNutt. And that shot is saved by Roby there. But Wayne Valley still pressuring offensively right now. Clonk's still not able to get it out. Ball is loose, but Wayne Valley still battling to hold on to it. And they will hold on and re-enter. Wayne Valley with a shot, and this one just wide. And we'll go out of bounds. And now this ball will go to the Panthers. Grace Fisher. Gave it to Jake Mary Roby, but the first quarter will come to an end. And Paquanic. With a pretty dominant first quarter as they are up five to one. 
And we'll have a quick two minute break here before we enter the second here. So here we are, getting ready for the second. Clark leading by four. We'll see if they can continue with their strong offense. And here we are with the second. Let's go over our keys to the game here. So to start the season off, you want a well-connected offense, strong organized defense. You want that crucial goaltending. I know lacrosse games are very high scoring, but you still want that high danger save percentage in those crucial shots. And you want to avoid taking penalties and you want a solid formation on the man up. I'm not. Sh I am not sure about the the man up rule applies to girls lacrosse. I could be wrong, but I know it is for boys. This is our again. This is our first girls lacrosse stream, so we're gonna make mistakes. But we'll get better as uh, we learn the rules a little bit better. The differences. Originally, it was just only halves, um, but of course now they change it to quarters. Kalanick with the ball here. Or oh, excuse me. Wayne Valley with the ball as both teams switch sides. Currently with this one, Phillips. Well, pass this one over to Avatello. And now Astano on it. Wolfson gave it to Kurz. And now, side here, we have Avatayala who passes one quickly over to McNutt. Now, Phillips on it. Wayne Valley takes this one behind the net. And now up front, and that ball just trickled wide of the net there. We 
Wayne Valerie still pushing. They started to have a little bit of an offensive resurgence since around the end, the nine minutes of the first, and they continue. That ball gets knocked up high there as City Kearns tries to battle for it, and Paquanic will get this loose ball. Bringing this one in is Zegler. Clark looking to get another here. Ruby Smith passed this one over to Olivia Cribs. Now back to Zegler. Cam Corvo on it now. Corvo. And now Corvo back with it from a pass. Now Zegler back with it. Zegler trying to walk around the defense. She's got no room. She'll pass this one over to Cameron Corvo. And a shot right there was saved by Wolford. I believe that was Digos with the shot right there. Ball nearly turned over in Wayne Valley's own zone, but they are able to hold on to this one and take it out. Now Wayne Valley rushing in with a shot. And this one's. Brought away wide, I believe, or Jake Mayrovi may have gotten a piece with it with her stick. Quanic back with the ball. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout called. 7.33 to go in the second. Now 6-1, Panthers, Dominic Dygos scoring 
Rule number six. Shoot the corner. I went to draw here. shot it, Big Man Rumbly, with that ball right there. <laughs> walk out of her net. Big Man Rumbly, still with it. And got no passing lane. All the smart players are getting tested by one defender. And it's a big fall off. You need to sniff that center here. And you need to get it together. You need to get the sniff. You need to bring this one in here. And we're going to bring this one in off the side. And behind the left. This is Pia Terusi. And the sniff out with it. I mean, guy looks back with it. Guy looks. Now to Teresi. Now, back to the team, Smith. Keeps the eye back with it. Over to Wayne Valley. Wayne mm -hmm. Valley might get the biggest one in here. If not, biggest one behind the net. All Goldie. Now it's going over the side here. Right now in front of the net. Hunted by four defenders there. And got the pass is going off to Wilson. And the guy looks to try to connect here. one here, and it's now 62. Yeah. 
keep on shutting it down in a second, and we need to cut down the whole Klonik looking to get something going here with a shot. And they score. And I believe that was Zegler on it. It is now 7-2. to two. Looks like they'll redo the draw here. And looks like they'll do it again for a third time here. Yeah, it looks like McClonic will win this draw here. And now it's Emily Zegler with it. Now I'll pass over to Cam Corvo. Now Cristofano gets it over to Sofia Teresi. Now Cribs. With it behind. And now the side of the net, she gives it to Cam Corvo. And Corvo rushing in. And she's pressured by defense here. She'll pass this one to Zegler. <laughs> Cam Corvo with a shot. And she scores. And now it is 8 to 2 for Klonik. With Cam Corvo getting goal number eight for the Panthers. With 1.15 to go in the second. And this draw was brought over to that, uh, the opposing side, or Paquonk's I should say. But Paquonk was there to win that draw. And now Paquonk back on the rush here. And now Val for that loose ball. And the officials will signal Paquonk's. <laughs> Kim Corvo from the pass right there. She'll give it to Zegler.
And now Zeigler with a shot, and she scores 9 2. Another draw win for the Panthers. Dominic Daigos. And now the Panthers continuing on the rush here. Ruby Smith behind the net. Now Cribs. Mia Cristofano gets it back to Dominic Daigos. Now back to Zegler. Daigos. And that ball's loose. Mia Cristofano tries to pick it up, but that will end off our second quarter, and we'll be now go into halftime with Paquanic leading by seven with the score being nine to two. So when we now enter in our Halftime intermission here on TJK Network. My name is Tarek Azizak. We hope you guys are enjoying this broadcast. Once again, Kwanik up, 9-2. We'll see you shortly for the second half of our game.
Welcome back everybody to TJ Canaric as we get ready for the third quarter for Quantic Cup 9-2. That's a total of a seven goal lead right there. And Quantic looks to close out the second half on a good note. And try to build off their lead right there. Once again, I apologize if I am um, still learning the rules or if I mispronounce names or say the wrong names. So. Compared to the boys lacrosse team who got New Jersey's uh, last, starting last season, uh, their numbers for home are uh, dark navy blue. The girls team has yellow numbers, so they're way harder to read. So apologize for that. But I believe I got the trick with the binoculars I have. But yeah, this is our first broadcast. They always aren't the smoothest, but we look to get better. We hope you guys also like our new scoreboard design for the remainder of the season here. As TJ Kinnerick looks to build and improve. Here we go. Quantic winning the draw again with Dominic Digos on it. Digos gets this one over to Caitlin Zegler. Caitlin Zegler. Being pressured by two defenders, she'll take a step back and give this one over to Teresa I. Emily Zegler on it. Now Sophia Teresi. Ruby Smith behind the net. Ruby Smith gets a shot and a goal. Ruby Smith. Now makes it 10 to 2. Dominic Daigos winning the draw again. Now she'll bring this one in to Sophia Teresi. Now back to Ruby Smith. Now Summer Cerisi on it. Summer Cerisi. Now to Ruby Smith behind the net. Emily Zegler with it, trying to get past the defense, trying to take this one back and pass over to Cam Corvo. And now back to Ruby Smith. And that ball will get loose there. Cam Corvo on it. As she'll rush in through the defense with a shot. And this one goes over the net here and out of bounds. Ball is loose right there. Teresa I bound for it, but we're up a whistle here. And Teresa I is with it. And that shot goes wide. And that loose ball is picked up by Wayne Valley.
at center. This ball gets loose right there, and Caitlin Zegler picks it up for the Panthers. Caitlin Zegler rushing in with nobody on her until the defense catches up to her. She entered the zone with speed right there. Kaylin Zegler still with the ball here. And now Mia Cristofano gives it to Dominic Daigos. Now to the side, Summer Cerisi, and behind the net now, Sophia Teresi. Ruby Smith now with it, behind the net. Mia Stefano tries to bring this one right in front of the net, but she loses that ball there. And a shot and a goal. Mia Cristofano makes it 11 to 2. Wayne Valley wins his draw. Well, son gets it over. And now at the side, Astano, who passed this one over. Wayne Valley still looking to set up here from the side. And this ball is knocked. Away loose right there as Paclan tries to bow for it. Behind the net now. Mastano with a sh shot. And this one makes its way to the back of the net. It is now 11 to 3. With 6.50 to go in the third quarter here. Another draw win for Wayne Valley there. Wayne Valley trying to up the pressure here. Behind the net to McNutt. And this ball is knocked away loose, but Wayne Valley still with it. And that shot is brought away by Roby. And this ball will go out of bounds. Wayne Valley still on it here, but a good pickoff right there from Aquanic. And now the Panthers in possession in their own zone. Panthers bringing this one in. 
Maselli gets this one over to Corbo. Now Mia Cristofano gets this one to Sofia Teresi. And this ball is loose in front of the net, but it's picked up by Cristofano. Zegler on it. Emily Zegler. Emily Zegler with some good moves right there in front of the net. And she'll pass this one over to Mia Cristofano. Now, Teresi behind the net. This ball makes its way back to Maselli. That ball is knocked away loose right there. And Wayne Valley is able to fend that pressure off and get this one back. I am. And now Wayne Valley with a shot, and this one goes wide. Wayne Valley will get that shot in the net, but it will not count, it looks like. Ainsley Phillips with a shot, and she scores. 11-4. With three minutes and thirty nine seconds to go. Bonick back on the rush here. Emily Zegler on it. Maselli. To Teresi. And that shot makes its way in the net. And now Sophia Teresi's on the board with a goal. It is now 12 to 5, uh, excuse me, 12 to 4. Wayne Valley wins its draw here. Behind the net. And Paquonk with the ball there. That one was knocked away. Paquonk still bringing this one in here.
And a shot, and another goal for the Panthers. That was number nine, Ava Heinel. Thirteen to four. One forty two to go in the third quarter here. Kaylin Zegler on it here for the Panthers. Kaylin Zegler gets it to Dominic Dagos. And a shot, and another goal. This one will go to Teresa, Teresa I. Quantic now up by 10, 14 to four. With 1-0, two to go in the third. Lane Valley with a shot, and he'll get one to the back end net there, 14 to five. Quantic with the ball off the draw. Emily Zegler. With five seconds to go in the third here. And that'll end off our third quarter here for Quantic up 14 to five. One more quarter to go. Quantic looking to start the season off strong, one and oh. If you guys want to watch the JV game that is after this matchup, go to TJK Network 2. The huddle will be restreaming that to TJK Network's other station.
So here we are, getting ready for the fourth. Quantic up by nine here. Here we are with the final quarter of this game here and Quantic winning that draw. Dominique Daigos loses that ball there and that ball makes its way to the goaltender Wolford she'll pick that one up with her stick. Wolford passes this one along here and Wayne Valley gets it out of their zone. Good pick by Pequonic there. And now the Panthers bringing this one back here. Nia Cristofano on it. Now Daigos. Back with it. Cam Corvo. Robinson gets this one over. To Zegler. Back to Robinson. Now Daigos on it. Daigos. Pressure by two defenders. This ball gets loose and. Wayne Valley will bring this one all the way into the Quantic Zone. Ball gets loose there and a good defensive play right there. And this ball is taken out to center here. Cam Corvo on it. Dominique Daigos. With a shot there. And that one is saved by Wolford. And Valley with it in her own zone here. Ainsley Phillips loses that ball right there, and this one's picked up by Heinel. This one's taken behind the net uh, for Quantic's own zone as Heinel looks for an open lane. Grace Fisher gives this one off to Jake Mary Rovey, and now tries to pass it back to Grace Fisher, but this ball gets loose as she'll try to battle to get it, and Grace Fisher is able to hold on to it. That goes back with it. Cam Corvo with a shot, and she scores. It is now 15 to five.
8 5 to go in the fourth quarter here. Going up by 10 again. Ball still loose after the draw, and Cam Corvo gets it for for Kwanek. Emily Zeigler bringing this one in here. Ball is loose. And. Wayne Valley with it. Quank within their own defensive zone there. And now Zegler with it. And now this ball is loose. Sophia Teresi trying to rush to it, but this ball will go out of bounds here. Wayne Valley with this one, bringing it back in for Quantic's zone here. Wayne Valley with a shot. And that one went wide, so I believe. And Wayne Valley still will hold on to it and try to get something going. 6.08 to go in the fourth. And Valley trying to get through the defense there. That ball gets loose and is picked up. By Paquanic there. And it looks like we're going to be getting a timeout here. Timeout called. Here we are coming out of the timeout.
apparently people are talking that another earthquake happened. Um, I didn't, I didn't think it reached here yet because I didn't feel anything. And I'm up in like a shake a press box here, and I would definitely feel the shaking because I mean it is just a grandstand. So I guess we'll see if it travels over here because my dad is. Wow, nothing's happened here, so we continue on, <laughs> I guess. Kind of weird to think about an earthquake happening in New Jersey. Woke me up this morning here. Yeah, it looks like Wayne Valley. Looks like that one actually won't count. And now clock, bring us one back here. Sophia Teresi on it. Now Olivia Cribs. Now Emily Zeigler. Caitlin Zeigler gets it over to Maselli. Now back to Caitlin Zeigler. Caitlin Zeigler. And just one over to Maselli. She'll pick that one up. Maselli back with it. Now Caitlin Zegler on it. Long pass over to Sophia Teresi. Mia Cristofano back with it. And that shot is just wide of the net there. And this ball is picked up by Sloan Wolford. Two thirty five to go here in the fourth. <laughs> Wayne Valley with it as they'll take it out of their own zone and bring this one out to center here. Wayne Valley rushing in here and this ball. Goes right past the crease of Jake Mary Roby. And it's picked up by Paquanic here. Quonk with the ball here. Grace Fisher right there. Lost control of it, and now this ball goes back to Wayne Valley. Wayne Valley. With it, with a minute and 25 to go in the fourth. 
And that pass right there was a little too much as that ball gets loose. And Paquonk bows for it as this one goes out of bounds. And this ball will be Paquonics. And we'll reach our final minute here of this game. And another shot from Dominique Daigos. And she'll put one final one in. And it's now 16 to 5. Once Paquanic gets another off the draw there. 30 seconds left in this game. Once a goal is scored, even if that happens, the clock still runs. So here we are with the final 20 on the clock of this game. So we're gonna have one last draw at the 10 second mark. As the clock wins the final draw here, and they'll secure the victory here, their first win of the season. Season opener was a very solid one. Great effort by Paquanic. They get the victory. Paquanic starting the season 1-0. And we'll see if any more earthquakes happen today as it's been pretty wild. So once again, you never wake up in New Jersey to an earthquake or you expect one. But anyways, your final score, 16 to five Paquanic. Paquanic Dominated this game pretty solid. And we'll start off 1 0. Wayne Valley will continue to struggle as this is their second loss of the season. They'll fall to 0 and 2. Both teams, or I should say both games, were blowouts. Both games blowout losses for Wayne Valley. So they'll be starting their season off 0-2 there. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast here on TJK Network. And if you want to watch the JV game that will be starting right now, you can watch it on TJK Network too. Anyways, my name is Tyler Kazak, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Stay safe, especially from these earthquakes. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.